one. And have you got the have you got the amendment in the um, into the system? Oh, well, there's a there's a look of surprise on on. Um, Okay. So, all right. So, so what we'll do is we'll take um, Councillor Livingstone as having moved the original uh, resolution, and would somebody like to second the original resolution? Uh, Phil Clearwater, and uh, um, David East would like to move an amendment. So, so sorry, I haven't I haven't got a. Um, has the report got the details of the Eastern Suburbs Sports and Recreation Facility? I don't know what that is. Sorry, perhaps if well, perhaps uh, do, Mike Teelan, can you come to the table as well? Yeah. Can you tell us what the um, Eastern Suburbs Sports and Recreation, uh, Recreation Facility is? Uh, well, in, in brief, the, uh, that facility uh, was uh, or is designed to be the um, community size replacement, I suppose, in the Eastern Suburbs of aquatic facilities that were lost when QE2 was, um, was destroyed and um, is the sort of the concept of the decision to put the metro level facilities in the centre and council agreed that it wished to continue to provide aquatic facilities in suburbs and that's what the ERS is intended to do. But it's not um, intrinsically linked to the new Brighton master plan because no decision's been made about where it's to be located, is that right? It, it's, that, that's, that's correct. Which is partly why I raised that question today before anyone else um, saw the, the, the draft resolution. So the two have been linked in so much as there's been discussions about aquatic facilities in New Brighton and the Eastern Rec and Sports Centre. Um, and in some degree they, they both they are both competing for the same pool of money. Um, there is a potential always that the two could be located in the same location, but the evidence that the Glass Council heard was in fact that um, the Eastern Rec and Sports Facility probably, if it's to serve the, the wider Eastern community, um, wouldn't be at the same location as some form of water park that specifically serves uh, in that New Brighton area. But the two have been discussed on and off together uh, because uh, they are both aquatic related uh, and at times they both seem to be looking to utilise 
uh, the same pool of funding. Okay, so do we have a seconder for the amendment? It will, it will lapse it, without a seconder. I can't take... OK, pro forma. Um, well, I, I think David East was going to speak to it first. Yep. Um, I, I just wanted to be clear around the... There's a new Brighton Business Land Owners Association, and there was... Um, I went to one of the presentations where they had this presentation around just upgrading the surf club there, and that being sort of like an attraction and a bit of a sports rec aquatic facility. Is that, is that included in here anywhere, or is that separate? They're currently engaged in preparing a wider scope master plan for New Brighton. That's on page 83, just down 4.7. So my understanding is that this was in order to enable a full engagement across all of the, the council planning processes and the New Brighton Business and um, Land Owners Association. Okay. David East. Thank you, Madam Mayor. <clears throat> I think I think I probably need to uh, reflect back a little in in terms of, of where I'm coming with on this uh, amendment. And in essence, I, I do support um, the movement forward of the New Brighton Master Plan. Um, however, I, I do feel that um, the planning committee recommendation of the 4th of September last year uh, where they considered reports from international experts on, um, on options for aquatic facilities in the New Brighton area which at the time was part of the integrated master plan process. Um, the decision of that committee at the time was to defer the decision of the report to the uh, incoming council for, for its consideration. Um, very quickly after that, a, rep a uh, meeting on the 4th of um, October of this year, the master plan um, came, to, um, came to council and recommendations um, were given regarding the aquatic options that I, I personally didn't sit comfortably with. Um, on top of that, we, we are in the eastern suburbs um, facing quite a, a, uh, a strong feeling from our community that we want to move forward on the aquatic issue and 20-odd uh, thousand signatories were obtained and a lot of public support. And in recent days there has been a move by um, certain members of our, our community to look at um, engaging legal counsel to review um, where we're heading with things on, on, uh, on the eastern suburbs um, sport and recreation location and a number of other things. So I really just want to acknowledge that um, the issue of aquatic facilities in our ward is a very hot potato and that if the eastern suburbs sport and recreation facility goes out to consultation, which is likely too shortly, there is a strong possibility or strong likelihood, should I say, that the residents of our ward will come out very strongly in favour of um, New Brighton being part of uh, being that location. And hence, uh, I want to just acknowledge in, in the master plan process that it is a likelihood that needs to be considered and that if the um, master plan process is going forward as we, I agree it should do at the moment, that we need to take cognizance of the fact that um, public opinion in the eastern suburbs may um, sway towards the location of an eastern suburb sport and recreation facility being in New Brighton and therefore we may, not, may need to uh, make provision for its inclusion in, in future master plan, um, um, sorry, in the final master plan um, adoption. I, I, what, what I'm concerned about, because, um, you know, given the fact that um, the Deputy Mayor seconded the resolution in order to, um, uh, you know, pro forma, uh, in order to have the discussion, I wonder whether, in fact, rather than passing an amendment that 
that, um, or not passing an amendment, that, that ties us to an outcome, whether it is better that the um, amendment, and I'd ask you to consider this, that um, agree that the decision on the location of the eastern suburbs sports and recreation facility uh, needs to be taken into account uh, when considering the New Brighton master plan. Yeah. Yeah. It might it might be facilities. It may not be. Um, it does say a new eastern recreation and sports facility is what the staff report refers to. Um, but it, yeah, so um, agrees that the eastern suburbs sport, sports and recreation um, yeah, facilities, plural, yeah, facility or facilities, yeah, so, um, well, it's, um, or facilities um, location decisions uh, <coughs> yeah yeah be considered in this process be considered in the process yeah yeah so so it's basically alerting that this is a decision that could have an influence on the outcome yeah Yep. Whilst I recognise that the uh, northern end of the eastern suburbs uh, have got it linked into their master plan, I wonder if, because the southern end of the uh, eastern suburbs, which is uh, Hagley Ferrymead Ward, uh, we don't want to just predicate that they're going to be placed in, in New Brighton. And I think there may well be a, uh, a situation we need to review. Um, aquatic facilities and sports facilities for the whole of the eastern suburbs, which would include New Brighton and obviously the Hagley. Or I know, and this is this is an issue, you know, that um, when you look at uh, facilities that are available on the west, you know, it is quite clear that there are two major gaps. One is in the Burwood Pegasus Ward and the other gap is in Hagley Ferrymead. And, um, I mean, we can see that absolutely crystal clear. Um, and. Uh, that's going to obviously have to be taken into account. But I don't think that this um, be precluded. Uh, so, or maybe it's maybe the word not is considered, agrees that location possibilities um, may affect this process or may... may um, Yeah. Okay, be considered in the process. All right. All right, so, um, well, Yanni Johansson, I mean, I would like us to break for lunch after we deal with this item. So, Yanni Johansson, Jamie Goff, uh, Jimmy Chen, and uh, Glenn Livingstone. But I think it's a bit um, hard to make this decision today just because. Like, I've had the fortune of going and seeing the presentation from a separate group that's doing another concept around New Brighton. And some of the stuff that they're looking at, I thought was quite exciting. And it's not necessarily around an eastern suburb sport and recreation facility, although it could be something like, as I said, the surf club being upgraded, expanded, which is really cool. And, and so I just, I just think that we're complicating this too much. Um, what, what needs to happen actually as part of our annual plan process and cost share process is we actually need to do an aquatic facilities review with our community across the city and work out where the priorities are and where the expenditure is going. Um, and so, you know, I, I just don't want people getting a mixed message from this amendment that somehow all the submissions in support of the new Brighton Master Plan having an aquatic facility are going to inform that decision because that is a wider process. And I think we need to be really open with our communities that it's not one against the other, it's actually a fair process across the board. Yeah, no, I, and that's why I tried to change the wording of it, and I'm, I'm still thinking that be considered as the wrong phrase um, for that reason. Um, 
I, I would rather that it read that the location possibilities may impact on elements of this process. Yep. If if you're if you're okay, well, it's just it's just alerting the the master planning process to the fact that there is another process that's going to go on in relation to facilities um, location and that may impact on the decisions that they make in terms of the master planning process. I, I would have thought that they're doing, I mean, we're setting up a, a stakeholder group. They're considering public and private initiatives for doing stuff. Yep. They've got meetings, workshops. Surely as part of that, are we looking at a wide range of issues, including this? Mm -hmm. Why is it necessary that we specifically say this here without knowing what ideas those people are coming up with? That's, that's fine, and you can vote against the amendment. Yep. Then I'll keep it pretty tight. Um, I, I think the changes here um, are great, really happy with it. Um, the only suggestion that I've got, I guess, going forward is um, if the mover and seconder of the substantive um, may be agreeable, why don't you just include it as part of an addition? No one's really saying anything that different. I don't think it necessarily needs to be an amendment that complements the substantives. So. Would no, that be a better way forward? Yeah, but I don't think that there is uh, a universal view on whether this is a, an acceptable amendment. So, Wouldn't you just add this as, as literally just a, a, an additional point to, to the substantive? Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't, the thing is though, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't change um, what the substantive was. It is an addition, it's inherently an addition anyway. It's just which been put which as was why I was trying to find some wording, but I'm hearing that there isn't unanimity. So right. I'm just looking for a, a way forward. Um, uh, uh, who was next? Uh, Jimmy Chen, then Glenn Livingstone. I would like to uh, ask okay. the staff to clarify because I remember last time the council meeting regarding to the New Brighton Water Park and the master plan issue, we have already put on the, you know, the, this kind of the recommendation regarding to the East Suburb, the sport recreation facility, you know, location is in the wider the East the Suburb and the, the, that kind of area. But the New Brighton is, is one of the, you know, past possibility, but the wider the East also is possibility. Hmm. We put into the, the I remember in the, the, the meeting the minutes, am I right? I just want to ask a staff whether can reply this way. Well, I think uh, as, as we, uh, as the last council considered, there, there were a multitude of options in terms of both where the location could be, in terms of the uh, Eastern Reef and Sport facilities, uh, and that could either complement um, a range of other um, aquatic or even non-aquatic um, elements as part of the new Brighton master plan. Um, uh, it was considered about where it might um, might be if it was to be located in New Brighton, but obviously as uh, a number of councillors have raised, it needs to be in a location that best serves the, the wider eastern suburbs. Um, so yes, those, those options remain, uh, and I think that um, this, uh, this allows us to recognise, in fact, that uh, what finally happens with the Eastern Reckon uh, Sports Facility will obviously have some influence on the final outcome of the master plan, whether it's included in that master plan process or, or not. Okay, um, Andrew Turner. My belief is that including this amendment in the discussion about the new Brighton master plan raises an expectation that there, there is a link and that there, there likely will be um, this facility in the east. Um, and to what extent there's a link, I think, still remains to be seen according to the recommendations around the, the, the final position of this facility. I don't think there's any um, debate around whether a facility somewhere in the east is needed, but clearly there's still some further considerations needed about exactly where that's going to be. I'd certainly prefer to see the aquatic facility viewed in a, a city-wide context, knowing and accepting that there is a need for that in the east without necessarily putting that down to um, New Brighton. I'm aware that the New Brighton Master Plan has been consulted on to um, a, a reasonable extent already, and I certainly wouldn't want to see anything linked to it that could potentially hold the actions in the New Brighton Master Plan back. Uh, uh, Paul and Cotter. 
Uh, did you want to speak? Yeah, I yeah, wasn't sorry. aware it was debate at first. It started off in a kind of question mode, but this was debate. So, yeah. Okay. I guess some. I just want to say, as the other um, councillor for um, Burwood Pegasus, this is new to me today. It's new to the community board. It's you to you, my uh, colleagues as councillors. I just want to put this on the record. I want something for Burwood Pegasus. There's no question, and I've pushed for that all along. But what I want is some good politics. I want transparency, I want no surprises, and I want the high trust environment to be acknowledged. I'm right behind a pool replacement, but I won't be held to ransom by a last minute uh, surprise amendment. So right behind you, Dave, I want a good project, good pool, I want good procurement, with the economic base for it is secured. And I want us to do this together. So uh, I, I need to process this further. Uh, not sure that I can go with it at the moment, but I'm open to uh, debate around. Well, the staff have staff have come up with another um, um, option, which um, I must say would actually solve everyone's problem, which is notes that the final location of the Eastern Recreation and Sports Facilities, facility or facilities, the final location of Eastern. I, 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 I don't actually, anyway, but anyway, Eastern Recreation and Sports Facility or Facilities may impact on the final New Brighton Master Plan. We're not dealing with the Ferry Road Master Plan today. Well, I mean, it's, it's just a way that, that people could support it. But look, I mean, if, if that's the reaction, then it's not going to be supported. So I'm... I'm um, sorry, sorry, I haven't kept a list of who wanted to speak. Pauline Cotter? Right, just briefly, I, I support Andrew here. Yeah, um, there has been considerable work done on this master plan already. Um, We've just had the Edgeware master plan and the Edgeware pool was definitely not in that, even though it's right in the area. That is a separate project going on on its own. Um, I think that the, the pool or the aquatic facility or facilities in Brighton is something that's happening on its own. The area of the oh, new Brighton master plan is pretty much around the commercial area. It's not a given that anything will go in there. I, I think it's... Um, a bit of a mistake to throw it in here, and I don't like the word um, impact on the process because we don't want anything impacting on a process that's already well down the track. So that's my view. 